<laughs> and good afternoon, San Antonio. Welcome to the Happy Handyman Show. I'm Trudy Chook, uh, broadcasting live from Johnny Chook's Home and Hardware. Now, if you've never listened to the show, is this your first time out here? Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been in the lumber and hardware business for over 44 years. And like I said earlier, we are broadcasting live and Facebook Facebook streaming from the store. And the location is 2361 Northwest Military Highway, which is real easy to find. It's about two miles north of Loop 410, right past the light at Lock Hill Selma. Uh, the store is going to be open today till 6.30 and tomorrow, for your convenience, 11 to 5. If you want to call the store and ask a question about anything I'm going to be talking about, the number is 210-341-1573. And I just want to say, I have missed you guys. I have not been on the air live for three weeks a uh, couple of weeks it was because of football and one week last week i was out in alpine texas and visiting my daughter son-in-law and granddaughter and for my birthday and for my birthday which i turned 69 lovely years i hiked up to hancock hill signed the book at uh, at the top of the hill and then uh, made my way back down. Never falling, never tripping, and it was uh, great. So for those of you that wished me a happy birthday, thank you very much. So we're going to do things a little differently today. How many of y'all are feeling the pinch of the economy? I mean, it's everywhere, right? And so this week, this show is really going to be dedicated to doing things maybe a little more frugally and fixing something instead of replacing it. So we're gonna start right at the top. The most important thing in your house, the toilet. Yes, the toilet. So how many of you have a toilet that maybe you have to flush it twice, you uh, are always having like a hard water ring uh, inside the bowl, or then maybe you're getting stains that are inside the tank. What do you do about that? Do you throw out the toilet? No, you don't throw out the toilet. You fix the toilet. And most fixing the toilet has to do with cleaning. And so I want to show you, those of you that are watching uh, live on Facebook, and for those of you, we have changed Facebook pages. So there's two of them out there. The old one just has a picture of the store and stuff like that. But the new one has a little circle that shows the latest book. That's the one you want to like and follow so that you can see the show and be aware of all the specials that we have going on, all the videos that we're going on. We're really beefing those up. All right, so back to the same problem. Delete germ for your toilet. What is delete germ? Delete germ, to give you a little history on it, was a product that was, uh, uh, it was Linwood Laboratories, I do believe. They made this product for the hospitals in San Antonio, and the gentleman there would sell it all over San Antonio. And since back then we had a lot of hospitals that were tied to the military bases, that's mainly where it was sold. And then at a point in the owner's life, he gave the formula to my dad, Johnny Chook, and then we started selling this product that is unbelievably wonderful about cleaning out hard water stains in your toilet. And you know, you when you clean a toilet and you just pour bleach in it, it will might bleach out the hard water, but it will not remove it. And it's hard water that is making your toilet very sluggish. So there's two ways to use Delete Germ. We have a toilet that's set up inside the store. Well, not a working one, but one where we can demonstrate on. And when you uh, want to use Delete Germ, you want to lift up the lid of the tank. There will be an open pipe at the very top and you squeeze some down the pipe, not inside the water of the tank. Okay, let me say that again. 
don't put delete germ in the tank water. It's in the little pipe. And then in the bowl, you want to put several streams around in the bowl, concentrating if you can. Hi, Karen. Um, on the where you have the ring sometimes it's really difficult because the hard water ring will be above the water line and you have to get real tricky maybe try to put some toilet paper up there and hold it or my favorite you can just use a flexi scour and uh, and then uh, get it off to begin with and then when you're cleaning your toilet once a week with delete germ Delete germ will keep that hard water from coming back. And it's that hard water that goes under the rim of your toilet that does not allow water to give a full flush uh, in your bowl. So this is a perfect thing. But you know, Delete germ will do so many more things. I have to tell you, a lady was in here earlier and she had burn marks on the inside of some pots and pans and I immediately looked to see if it was a very good quality pots and pans and it was and it was a very thick bottom you can put a little delete germ on the inside and use like one of those scotch brights green scrubby sponges and start cleaning and it will do an amazing job of cleaning out the burn marks in your pots it will also clean copper so if you have revere wear and they're copper bottomed and you have managed to burn them on the bottom just flip it over put a stream of delete germ on there and start cleaning and rinse immediately remember this is a even though it smells like peppermint and you think okay this is a real lightweight product it is not it is a very good cleaner and so you have to have respect for that and so when you start cleaning with delete germ you clean immediately you rinse immediately and so another thing you can use delete germ for is cleaning off the hard water stains that are on the outside of the glass on your glass shower doors it's just a very versatile product and that's why I always like recommending it okay so now one of the number two things that I get people asking me about and that can be very expensive to replace especially if you're having to replace <laughs> oh good job with those candles uh, a, a whole big spot in rotted wood okay rotted wood where does it happen right down at the bottom where uh, rain will sit where you're maybe cleaning off things and water sits there and it creeps into the wood because maybe you don't have a good paint job on it and it starts working its way in and then the wood gets soft and then you start losing your integrity in the wood. So what do you do about that? You want to use a product called Minwax Wood Hardener, okay? And that is a liquid. That's the first thing you want to do. This is a product that is so unique. You, it is a liquid and it will penetrate the wood, okay? And so it has a capillary action. That's what they call it. It seeps into the wood, but then it's a solvent. So as it dries, it leaves all these uh, solid pieces of fiber, wood fiber, in the wood. And as it dries, then it hardens. So whenever you're looking at working on your rotted wood, then don't dig any of it out to begin with and i'm going to tell you why you don't if you dig it all out you just end up having to use tons and tons of wood dough and that's not you don't have to do that if you'll just leave the rotted wood there it will get as hard as a rock okay you're going to put this hardener on three times and the surface of the wood will get shiny and then that way you know the wood is absorbed all that it can absorb and that you're ready then to put your wood dough in. So you mix up your two part wood dough and you start putting it in and you push it in with like a putty knife. And then in about 20 minutes, the surface of that will be firm enough that you can sand, but not rock hard. So, cause it, it will get that way. And that's what you want. You want it to get rock hard because you want it to save whatever you are 
not wanting to replace. Let me give you an example. I had a front window and uh, it was behind a lot of landscaping. And so my sprinkler system would go back behind there and water would sit on this big picture window, window seal. Well, it came time when I wanted to replace the windows. They were all single pane windows and we were going double pane. And so when we started to pull that out, the man that was replacing it said, you're gonna have to call a contractor and he's gonna have to replace all that bottom seal. Well, the house was rock. I was gonna have to replace rock, the seal. It was gonna get really pricey really quick. And so I told him, don't do anything yet. Let me see if we can save this. And I promise you, it was an area about 12 inches long and about two inches deep that I had lost the integrity of the wood. And so didn't dig any of it out, started using the hardener on it. And then the next day after the hardener had completely dried, I put in the wood dough, waited 20 minutes, sanded smooth. The next day, the guy, he says, I can't believe this. I've never seen anything like this. And, um, but it just does a good job. Are there others on the market? I'm glad you asked that. Uh, yes, there are others on the market, but let me tell you, they can be very pricey because they're made for professionals and professionals are used to spending a little bit more. For you, the homeowner, Minwax Wood Dough and Wood Hardener is perfect and it's very reasonably priced. It will save you thousands. It did me. And so another place where we like to use that is around the garage door bottoms. Maybe you're starting to lose the bottom of your garage door or where the garage door hits the concrete right there. That is a perfect spot for Minwax wood dough and hardener and it will save you money and it will save you time too. So where can you find these things? Well, you can find them at Johnny Chick's Home and Hardware. We're at 2361 Northwest Military Highway, which is about two miles north of Loop 410. And the phone number here is 210-341-1573. When you come in, don't walk right back out. I have had so many people come in. They see the gift shop in the front and we are really starting to beef up for Christmas. They walk right back out again. They look at the front. Oh, it is the hardware store. Come on back in. Once you hit uh, where the batteries are, we're all hardware after that. 11,000 square feet of everything that you need as far as maintenance around the house. So that means maintenance with your paint, with electrical, tools, plumbing, lawn and garden, nuts and bolts. And with nuts and bolts, this is what I like to brag about. If you just want one, just buy one. You don't have to buy a whole package of 10 or 15, just buy one. We even have things for your car, for your automotive. We have um, air conditioning filters and um, and you can get a special price on them if you buy 12 at a time. So it's just a really good hardware store plus a gift shop for your convenience. All right, so let me tell you about something else that I get called for all the time. And that's this product called Magic Clear Lens. So what is Magic Clear Lens? If you're not watching on Facebook, then you can't see. This is just a little four ounce bottle with big results. How many of you have car lenses, okay, the headlights, and over the years, they started out looking really good, and then with all the sun and the rain and the dirt grime and road rocks and stuff like that, they're starting to look cloudy. And not only do they look cloudy and make your car look old, they actually do um, make it very hard to see at night because they will diffuse that headlight instead of giving you a nice, clear light. Um, the um, I'm going to do, we're gonna have a special sale at the end of, it's the first of next month. It's gonna be on the 4th. And we're gonna have a big sidewalk sale. And that day, when I have the sidewalk sale, we are going, uh, uh, one, yeah, I bit the dust. 
um, the sidewalk sale is going to be out front. We're going to have everything like pennies on the dollars for all of some things that we're wanting to move out and bring new things in. Yeah, that's the way it always works, right? If you want to bring this in, well, something's got to go. And so that's what we're going to do. But we're also going to have something special. If you are having problems with your headlight and you want to see, okay, what can Magic Clear Lens do for you? Well, we're going to be doing that in the front of the store. And we'll do one headlight for you and see if it clears everything up. And then if you want to, then you can buy and fix the next one. And let me tell you how easy it is to do this. You put it on a soft rag. I'm going to tell you, I use a paper towel, but they always recommend a soft rag. And so, and you just literally wipe across the lens. You don't scrub. You don't have to use a brush. You don't have to take days to do it. It happens like that and where it will clear it up. Now, it works the best if you've never had your headlights worked on, if you've never had anybody sand them down because what happens if you take off the finish. But um, on the Magic Clear Lens, it will clean that finish. But if this is a maintenance thing because a lot of people go, well, why do, why do I have to buy four ounces if I got them clean? They don't stay that way, okay? They will get dirty again, and it's like every time when you wash your car, go and clean your headlights, especially right now. It's gonna start getting darker sooner, and you don't wanna be driving around. I see some people sometimes, I know y'all are gonna laugh. I pull up to a stop sign, I look neck to the right, I look to the left, and I go, oh man, do they need magic clear lens. And so I need to be like one of those people like on the corner, but instead of selling things, I'd be fixing uh, headlights. So if you have a problem with that, go to our automotive area and check out the Magic Clear Lens. And I'm telling you, it will make your headlight look so much better. Now, what about leather furniture? Have you ever thought about, oh my gosh, this leather furniture looks terrible. I'm just, I'm just so and so is having a sale, so let's just go get it. Okay. Let's just try something first, okay? Because maybe that was your favorite sofa and maybe you just looked at the prices on new leather furniture. All right, Howard's, who usually, okay, usually they're all about wood, right? But they have branched out into some other areas and let me tell you, they are doing an excellent job. Their leather salve is unbelievable those of you that are watching on Facebook I'm just going to show you it is a very waxy kind of salve just like what you would and it smells good it smells very good too and you will take away years and years of discoloration with this leather salve and you literally put it on a soft rag and this I really do use a soft rag and uh, put it on and wipe it on let it haze up a little bit get a different soft rag and start buffing it off it will I always tell the story about my mom and it's a good thing she doesn't listen to this because I would never hear the end of it uh, she cleaned her leather chairs in her office with Windex yep Windex and what does Windex have in it, it has ammonia in it what does ammonia do to leather it etches it so mom's leather chairs looked horrible and so i cleaned one completely and on halfway on the other one and it i did this about four years ago and those leather chairs still look good so if you have some leather furniture maybe it's just the leather that's in your car that you want to look better let me tell you Howard's has got this great leather cleaner I, that's what I use in my car because Max jumps in my little dog and um, if he's got dirty foot feet paws and stuff like that it gets in all the stitching on my leather uh, seats and I can use their leather cleaner and it makes the stitching look like new again. It is so great. And especially like if you have like a leather chair where somebody puts their head against the back and it's made some kind of white mark on it from just the body oils, the leather cleaner does a great job. How many of you have? Okay, I've been told I need to take a breath. Okay, 
How many of you have, I gave a teaser this morning, um, I did a video. How many of you have got some great rugs in your bathroom? They all are cohesive, they all go together. And I don't know if you've bought uh, rugs lately, but they're pricey. And so, how many of you, you step on your rug and you've lost the backing on the back and you can scoot about three feet before you get your balance? Well, that's because you're a young whippersnapper. If you're an old whippersnapper, you may not catch your balance. So what do you do? You're gonna put the backing right back on. And the product is called FiberLock. It says FiberLock rug backing, non-skid, okay? Non-skid. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your rug and then you're gonna take it outside because this um, fiber lock, it has a real strong ammonia smell. It dissipates just super quick. Um, and then you're going to paint the back of your rug with like a throwaway foam sprunch, okay? Do you have to paint the whole thing? You don't have to, I don't. I put a big fat X on the back and then I put some in the middle of where those X's don't come together and then you let it dry. And then once it's dry and it's cured, then you can wash and dry that rug and none of that backing will come off. Now, if you have some peeling backing on it already, it's just like paint. You've got to get rid of that. So you just brush it off and then you're ready to put a backing on the back of your uh, rug that will uh, never uh, go away. And it's just, it does a really good job. You'll save your rug, you'll save some money, and you might save a hip, okay? All right, let me tell you where we're located again. We're at 2361 Northwest Military Highway, and the phone number is 210 341 one five seven three. I want to tell you real quick about something else. And then those of you that are watching on Facebook, don't jump off because we're going to go about another 15 minutes. And I want to tell you about some other things, some new things that we just got in this week and some reminder things. All right. So, uh, uh, oh, the outside of your house. So how many of you have painted and you've painted with a excellent paint like Coronado paint or Benjamin Moore paint and you were promised maybe 15 to 18 years on the outside of the house and but then you're looking at it recently and you think you know this looks like it might need painting again and that's disappointing especially if it's only been up there about 8 to 10 years let me tell you something lots of times you don't need to repaint you just need to clean that's all there is to it and let me show you one of the best things to clean with. It's called 30 Second Outdoor Cleaner, okay? 30 Second Outdoor Cleaner is a great cleaner to clean the outside of the house. The gallon size formula is the most economical. I think it sells for about 14 or $15, but the gallon will make two gallons because you add a gallon of water to the 30 second cleaner. And then you use a one gallon pump up sprayer, or if you're strong enough, you can use a two gallon pump up sprayer and start cleaning the house. You spray it on, you let it work for a little bit, and then you rinse it off. And I cannot tell you the people that have come to me and said, Trudy, you know, I thought I needed to paint. No, nope, I just needed to clean. That's a real way to save money, isn't it? All right. All right, we're going to say goodbye to the people that are listening on WOAI and tell them that we're located at 2361 Northwest Military Highway. The store is going to be open to um, 6.30 today. And, oh, somebody wants me to repeat the carpet info. That is going to be Fiber Lock, okay, Fiber Lock. But call the store, and we'll be happy to tell you about it. All right, that's it for this week, folks. It's time for you to roll up your sleeves and get busy on some of these projects we've been talking about. But by all means, you remember one thing. It will always be a great day to paint. See you next week. See you next week. Okay, so now I can get rid of this. And I'm going to...
fix my hair because I had headphone hair. All right. Um, we're going to walk around the store a little bit, but not before I talk to you about... Um, oh, okay. Uh, we'll answer that question in just a second. I want to talk to you all about some new things that we got in. All right, but first I want to talk to you first about a freeze miser. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know it's not even close to freezing. And it, it may be January before it freezes and gets that cold. But I know that everything that I read about, we're going to have some extreme weather. And you do not want to get caught with, at the last minute, trying to walk or go around San Antonio and find something like a freeze miser or find insulation, pipe insulation or faucet insulation. Buy it now, okay? Come in, get it now. We have plenty of freeze misers. I already stocked up on those. We already have plenty of uh, pipe insulation. We have plenty of faucets, uh, faucet insulation, if that's the way that you want to go. But I want to recommend the freeze miser. The freeze miser is like hands down the easiest way, the safest way the most economical way to take care of your pipes when they start to freeze. And let me ask you this. How many times have when we have gone to bed at night and then all of a sudden that will drop down drastically and then we get frozen pipes? Well, if you have a freeze miser on, you don't have to worry about that. You're going to just install your freeze miser, okay? And then this has got a wax on the inside of it. And if it's freezing, it will only allow a small drip that will save your pipes. You're going to put this on. You're going to turn your faucet on. Okay. And if it's going to be freezing, it will only drip. And it will drip a most economical drip. How many of you have got some from last year? They're still good. If you want to test them, the best thing to do is put your freeze miser in the freezer and then go put it on your faucet and turn the water on. If no water comes out, then you know your freeze miser is still ready to roll for this winter. Um, if not, if you see some water coming out, too much coming out, then come on in right now and get your freeze misers. Don't wait to the last minute. I cannot tell you how crazy it gets when people can't get what they need. So put it on your list to come get it now, okay? All right, um, command strips. How many of you like command strips? I like command strips. I like command strips because I don't like to. Maybe if I was in an apartment, I was in an apartment for about I think it was six months. It was the longest six months of my life and uh, waiting for my house. And so I did not want to put any pictures up. I didn't want to do anything up. But it, six months is a long time to go without doing anything for the inside of your house. But look what the command strip people just did. This is brand new. This is to hold maybe mops, brooms. It has uh, it will hold up to four pounds. And just like every other command strip, there is the backing on the back. And you see these little things down here? Okay, when you're ready to leave, you just pull those. They're not gonna damage the sheetrock, much less damage any kind of paint and then you walk away with your deposit. But maybe you're not good with screws and bolts and nails and stuff like that. This this is what you wanna use. We're gonna expand our command strip area. We just expanded our moving area. And guess what? We're gonna start putting bird feed in and getting more bird feeders. And let me tell you why I can. We just got in about three weeks ago and I have sold out twice already, okay, twice. This is called Morgan's Repellent. I know it's backwards, okay, I know, but trust me, it says Morgan's Repellent. And this is a repellent. This one is peppermint scented and, uh, hang on just a second, I need to turn my, there we go. 
peppermint scented. It also comes in a just cinnamon scented, but this is peppermint, peppermint cinnamon scented. Okay, so, and then they also make one in a really strong garlic. Trust me, it's a very strong garlic. I, I sent so much. I wrote about it in an article that goes into Houston. How many of you don't know that I write an article every week? I write an article every week that got picked up by the Chronicle in Houston. I didn't start it. Dad started it. And so, uh, needless to say, we send a lot of stuff to Houston, especially things that they can't buy someplace else. And Morgan's, you can't, they will not sell to a big box store, no Walmart, no Depot Lowe's. Um, so, they're going to just be in um, small hardware stores, which I thank them for that. But if you're thinking about maybe you had a problem last year, maybe you're having a problem right now with mice, but um, how to get rid of them? Because you want to use a repellent. Why a repellent? Because even though you put out a kill um, nine times out of ten, they don't get out of the house. They say they're supposed to get out when uh, oh yeah that's how you found dad yeah um thanks karen um they they don't and they fall down in the walls or they die up in the attic and then you're faced with 90 to 120 days of really strong smell and uh, you don't want that i don't like that and so i would much rather push them away then get them in and then have to get rid of it so why does this work so well it is an odor that they don't like at all okay and it blocks their sensory and so when they go in it makes them leave because they can it's kind of like they cannot tell if there's something there that they need to be scared of like a predator okay and so this is another thing. If you get this, let me tell you a little secret. Do not put it just on the floor, okay? Because that will keep them from going out. Yeah, so it comes in this package like this, right here. And you can probably hear like, sounds like little rocks because it is in, um, not charcoal, it's in, okay, I forgot what it's in. Um, let me see, let me read here, uh, da, 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 breaks down. Anyway, trust me, it's safe, <laughs> it's safe. And your pets won't wanna mess with it. That's uh, the way it is. Um, pumice, oh my gosh, I thought I'd never remember that. Okay, it's infused in the pumice. And so the, your animals are not attracted to it because it looks like a bunch of rocks, okay? And you wanna put this about 48 inches above the floor, 36 to 48, so that when they try to go out, they're not blocked by this smell and go right back in again, okay? So, if you're thinking about that you might need a mouse repellent, I'm telling you, this is really good. I saw some video on this and I watched amazing things, okay? Amazing things, so. Let me see. Green liver, uh, freeze miser, ceiling fans. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. We have always carried, and then in about two minutes we'll be ready. Uh, we have always carried um, Regency ceiling fans. And then about four to five years ago, maybe not quite five, four years ago, Hinkley bought Regency ceiling fans. I liked Regency ceiling fans. Um, I like Hinkley. Hinkley is a very high-end lighting company. So it made sense that they were, when they started doing their fans, that they would be more high decor. So what happens when you have high decor? Usually the price goes up, all right? And having COVID and things like that, uh, even though we're past that, uh, prices are still going up, you know, just like when you go to the grocery store. And so I really, I, um, 
My customers would come in and they just weren't at a point in their life where they could afford a $500 ceiling fan. Even though I told them it's an excellent ceiling fan, it'll be a lifetime ceiling fan, they would never have any problems with it. If they did, all they had to do was call me. And either one, I would tell them how to fix it or we would replace it. And, but not everybody is at a point in their life when they can spend $500 on a ceiling fan. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't have a good fan. And that doesn't mean that you can't get a good fan for a good price. And so I really searched for a long time and found Wind River fans. Okay, Wind River fans, you can see them. There's one right here, okay? And that one is called the Dalton. That one's a 52 inch fan, comes with a light kit, and comes, it is a pull chain, okay? So yes, it is a pull chain. Can you add a remote to it? Absolutely. So that fan, okay, 52 inch, lifetime warranty, okay? Lifetime warranty fan, $120. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that, not even with a stick. All right, I'm gonna turn a little bit. All right, see the two fans on the end, one, the lights are not on the second one the lights are on that one is called a pecos fan it is a little more high decor because it's got that real pretty light kit on it that one sells for under 160 again 52 inch pull chain lifetime warranty so that pretty much puts an excellent fan in where you can afford it into where you stay cool. I mean, I promise you, my my ceiling fan was on last night. I have this one right here in my living room and it is a 72 inch and we will always carry Hinkley. And if we don't have it in stock for you, most of the time we do, we can special order for it, comes out of Dallas here in five days. So if you're looking for a ceiling fan, whether you want Hinkley brand or whether you want Rend River, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you. All right, so I think right now we are going to do a little swing around the store and Jill is gonna help us. She's got a customer, go ahead. Yeah, she's gonna grab Dawn, go grab Dawn so she can help her and we're gonna do some things around here. I'm gonna hand this to Jill and she's gonna grab do you still have power left on your phone? Yep, we're okay. good. We're good. Okay. Okay, we are ready. We are ready. Did you tell them about this yet? I did not get to tell. Okay. Okay. These caramels, ask Jill. So good. Oh my goodness. Well, Trudy liked them too. Yes. We were in a showroom, okay, and the showroom had not been open. And when we go and go to the showrooms, I don't stop very often for doodly because I feel like I'm going to miss something, you know, fear of missing out. That's me. And so we saw these and I said, Jill, Jill, you want to have two samples left. <laughs> There's two samples left. They've probably been sitting there for three months. No. And, <laughs> and so we had them and then our mouths melted. And you're not a big sweets fan either, not so. at all. But I do love, like, uh, chocolate and sea salt. Well, here, we're not attached to the table. Let's show them all of them. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's go look. They're over here. Handcrafted. <laughs> oh, how great they look. Look at that. Yes. Okay, so there's deep dark chocolate this is a really cool like if you didn't know what to give that's got a whole variety, variety in there and the vanillas okay i think jill said yeah you love that one black lava sea salt deep chocolate black lava sea. okay so these uh tall ones go for like 23.99 there's about 20 pieces in 20 there pieces what a great gift I always say, if you don't know what to give somebody, get them food. They all got to eat, right? <laughs> they all got to eat. But if maybe you're just picking up something, you know, as a little gift or for a teacher or something like that. Or, well, maybe you better get the big one for the teacher. <laughs> uh, uh, but maybe just a small one for an extra neighbor or something. 
then this would be good. Those are so good. And then, uh, do you, what do you want to, can we talk about the trap? Sure. Okay. Can we take a detour and show them how great crud cutter works? Yeah. If you accidentally knock over olive oil on the floor. Uh huh. Hi, Max. <laughs> crud cutter. <laughs> Can y'all see? Look, it's all dirty in the rest of the store, and that one spot is perfectly clean. Okay, crud cutter's awesome. Okay, now we have to make this look a little Yes. Dirtier. Okay. Yeah. Trap. Crud. Let's talk about trap. Talk about trap. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about, okay, this is Fragrance Weekend. Uh, I know that we talked a lot about that in a previous video, but I am love Fragrance Weekend, and so we're going to have it. Cricket, you're here tomorrow. Yeah. And so uh, we're going to continue Fragrance Weekend through mm -hmm. tomorrow. So if you missed out today, if you were busy having to do things, come on by tomorrow. So, Trap. Trap was the new line that we were being so secretive about. Mm -hmm. And so we pulled it in and we pulled, I think, 15... 11 fragrances and then the three Christmas. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So, and right now, you receive a free votive candle with purchase of a 7 ounce. So, this is a 7 ounce right here. And they have some wonderful fragrances. Patchouli, the seagrass, their lavender, the uh, eucalyptus, this ro rose water. This, this is so good. And I usually do not like, like, a rose smell. It's so oh, good. Oh, I usually don't like lemongrass verbena, but that one smells really good, too. So, trap is wonderful. And so, um, they have some great things. In a couple of the fragrances, we did the whole line. Like the lavender. Oh, if you haven't smelled the Palo Santo, <laughs> That's my favorite, too. You have missed out. And see, they do a hand soap and a hand lotion, too. And room spray. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Rinse it and wax melts. melts. So, you can use any melter and put those in there. And um, you'll get a free voter. Now, this... This is what God is, this is because my mom wanted me to do this. She goes, you have to get holiday. Okay. So we picked up the whole line. But um, this Christmas holiday, the white fur, this white fur is really nice. I usually don't like fur, but this is really nice. And then the bourbon mahogany. Yep. This is nice. And they do like a deal where you can put all three together. This is great. Great. All right. Jill found this super cool timer. Let me show it to you. A cube timer. It's a cube timer. So, say you tell your kid, okay, you can have, you can watch TV for 15 more minutes. You put it up like that, and it starts clicking off. And then Jill showed me here at the bottom, it starts doing the little timer on it down here. And then as soon as it's off, it'll beep and that'll be it. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it up. Okay. Say you're only gonna, you're only gonna stream Facebook for five more minutes after we're off the air. <laughs> there we go. So, but this is super cute. I would say this would be a great kids gift. Mm. Okay, I just want you to study for 15 more minutes and then we'll go outside and play. You need 30. <laughs> so, this is really cool. And it's only $12.99. $12.99? $12 yeah, it does take batteries, but $12.99. So that's really, really cool. Uh, did you have something else that you wanted to talk about? Well, you're going to do Fragrance Weekend longer. So um, any other specials you want to show them? We've got oh, some stuff, 35% off. Oh, yeah. oh, you could do a Sweet Grace. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes Sweet Grace. 30 or more. Receive a Sweet Grace. Sweet Grace. Make freshener. your car smell like Sweet mm -hmm. Grace. Yes. And it's easy to get to $30. And they have everything from laundry detergent, dish soap. This is like their number one fragrance. This stuff is heaven in the shower. <laughs> heaven Just saying. in the shower. Yes. And then we've got some specially marked Orleans fragrances. Um, the Carnival. Black Orchid. Black Orchid. 35% off. 35% off. And we're doing this for a reason. We're probably making room for some tons else of here. Christmas. Yes. <laughs> we need room for here. Christmas. Okay. Um, on Lamberge, you get twenty percent off of lamps, and you get a free sample size fragrance fuel. So those are. They're at the front counter. <laughs> They're at the front counter. There's two cents to choose from, though. 
Which one? Get you started. Uh, Black Angelica and nice. don't remember the other one. Yes. But the big thing would be 20% off of lamps. Yes. And a lot of the lamps come with scent already. There you go. And they're super nice. This one's a brand new one. This one's a brand new one. Uh, this one is a brand new one. This one's pricier, okay? So this would be the time to get mm -hmm. on sale. Okay. And that one comes with the full bottle of scent, too. Yeah, that does make a big difference. Okay, so chips receive a free Christmas sachet uh, with your regular... Combo purchase. Yeah, regular combo. What's a combo purchase? A lamp, and you get two cents mm -hmm. for... forty-five ninety-five. It's almost $5 savings. Yeah, and so... And then look at these. Are these not cute? Now these are just shades. So you would take your normal shade off and put this one on. So change it for season. Yeah. Isn't that cute? And then fragrance weekend they can get that for twelve fifty instead of fifteen ninety nine. That's fun. Lots of fun. Especially if you're doing trick or treating that night, you could put it right by the candy. Right. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, shoes are, oh, as shoes. of this afternoon, 40% off Yellow Box. 40% mm -hmm. off of Yellow Box. Okay, I'm going to tell you, these are my favorite. If you ever have a problem with a flip-flop not fitting well because it's just too flip-floppy, <laughs> this one is great. This one fits me better than any that I've ever had. But Yellow Box, all the way. Uh, there is 35% off Michelle Designs. Everything but Christmas. Everything but Christmas. But it's a perfect time to come in and look at what the Christmas looks like. Look, they changed up their lotions a little bit. Because this so is what they, they normally are, right? Mm hmm Yeah. So, I think this looks So, they sweet. match the foaming soap better. Yes. The same shape. Yes. I don't know what took them so long. <laughs> but it could be they had millions of bottles. I don't know. But that's really pretty. But this, this kind of stuff, all on sale. 35% off. It makes a great gift. It really does. Okay, let's see. What else? Yeah. Oh, right behind you. Um, Northern Lights. This line, I mean, they have candles, they have everything. But the true wonderfulness about this line is that a word mm -hmm. okay is there room sprays linen and room sprays yeah they're great so you can buy one at 25 percent off two at 35 percent off three or more 40 off one for you one for you one, one for you yeah one for me one for me one for me okay. <laughs> you know what we forgot to tell them are we running out running out of battery power We're running out of battery power. <laughs> okay tell them what the orleans Laundry, for every $20 in laundry wash, they get a top at 40% off. All right. So, we have, and we have some things that are going to take you right into fall. Some, this, I love this little jacket. Look how cute that is. Pockets, and then, um, it's, you know, it's got a nice fleece on the inside. Comes you in can, navy or green. Yep, yeah, navy or green. And so you could have 40% off. That's so, I don't, let's see. And then you wash that in the laundry wash that you just bought. <laughs> so, it's both of these racks, and I've got some cute shirts, and uh, still some things that are light enough for right now. So, super cute. I had a lady that bought this yesterday, and she bought some matching earrings. So <laughs> oh, the pink ones? Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Top. So cute. All right. Is there anything? Oh, we haven't told them about this. <laughs> what? No. What, we Judy? What? Because this is so great. And then I'm going to show oh, you a new product. Oh, Glass House. Glass House. Oh, my gosh. They are through. They are just. Amazing. Oh, yeah. They're there amazing. are no words. There are no words. Okay. And we're showing you now the perfume. And as you can tell. It's very popular. Uh, they're a great price. They're a great product. We just brought in, now this is, um, it's in Christmas packaging, but it's not like a Christmas scent. It's, it's Kyoto, Kyoto and Bloom. Bloom. They're number one, yes, number one 
Number two is Lost in the Malfi. Is it Lost? Yes, yes Lost, Lost in the Malfi. Okay. And number three is the Hamptons, which we need to reorder. Which we need to. So reorder. we only have the small candle. <laughs> so, and right now with any glass house purchase, you get a free little perfume sample, and it's in Rendezvous and in Midnight Mal in Milan. Jill's favorite. Yes. Okay. Are you sure? So. Okay. And if you spend you fifty or more. Then you get a free box voted. Okay, this one, last run in Aspen, oh, so good. So, isn't the packaging beautiful? Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't seen, come by and look at that Christmas stuff. It's beautiful. Okay. And let me show you why. See all the little windows that are cut in here? As this burns down, they're going to be lighting up. Like little lights in the windows. Yes. 